a Filipino basketball star, how to improve your sex life, and pig parts and beer. We are getting ready to party for the long weekend as Kababai in L.A. starts right now. because I want our guest to get most of the airtime for this segment because she has a lot of interesting and important things to say. Stop calling him honey and start having sex. Julian Davis, uh, the co-author of this book, is here joining us today on the show. Hello and welcome to Cabo Bayan. Thank you very much. You do realize that this is quite intriguing and very interesting and it, I think is for many people it's the first time that they're hearing about this because, you know, honey and other terms of endearment, mm -hmm. we usually use that in relationships yes. but now you're saying that it actually uh, is detrimental to a couple's yes. sex life yes I mean it is our book is pretty revolutionary we did a lot of research 10 years in fact and actually read all the other books going on this subject and we we thought why aren't they recognizing the elephant in the room and that is is that when usually in a, in a first relationship when you meet your partner mm -hmm. you initially obviously call them by their name right but what happens you start getting real comfortable and then you start calling him sweetie and honey and pooky and all these silly words <laughs> and the thing is is that those words kind of take away your individuality they take away your identity mm -hmm. um, and they kind of turn you both into these sort of asexual beings so you're saying that in a relationship if you want like a hot sex life to stop calling stop using terms of endearment right I mean we're not saying that you know just because you're calling your partner a term of endearment that you're all of a sudden you know magically not going to have sex we're right not saying that but what we're saying is it's not helping the matter mm -hmm. and if you're in a situation where you know it's, it's sort of like the great unspoken secret mm -hmm. there's people all over the world that are in these long-term relationships and they're not having a sexual relationship anymore they're living like roommates we call it the roommate syndrome mm -hmm. and there's a lot of people that won't admit to it right but if you if you think about your relationship if you're only having sex maybe once every two months or less so that's, that's not regular sex? No, it's not. No, not what regular What if it works enough. for people? What if it works for them? You know, they say relationship is for it's about um, being with someone, companionship and mm -hmm. all that. That's true. But sex is, how important is sex? Sex is very important because it keeps you emotionally invested in your relationship. Okay. And when you're not emotionally invested, what happens is you lay yourself open for outside influences um, or for your, your relationship just to die right. as time goes on. And then you become friends, but you're not so, you know, the passion's not there. Mm -hmm. And maybe a lot of people are in denial about that passion. So basically what our book is saying is we're saying there's certain things that you can do to kind of jumpstart you starting to feel that way about one another again. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things is to stop calling them by those silly names. Start recognizing that they are the hot guy that you initially met. Right. You are the hot woman that they fell in love with. Okay, there's another t uh, topic here that says banish the baby talk. Couples do that. Like in your research for 10 years, like what's the weirdest term of endearment that you've encountered? What's the weirdest well, story okay. that you've encountered? Yeah, the baby talk is a whole other thing, but the weirdest, um, the weirdest pet name was McMuffin Poop and Cakes. I kid you McMuffin not. McMuffin Poop and That's yeah. too long, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, it's bad. Okay, it's so it's bad. a girl calling a guy that or yes. a guy calling... Wow. Okay. Either. Right. But, you know, really what our book is trying to say is, you know, there's certain things you need to stop doing. And okay. then there's also things you need to start doing Let's in your relationship. Let's talk about the baby talk. People do baby talk each other? Couples? Uh, absolutely. Really? Oh, yeah, and completely. And then they, they take on this sort of... Um, relationship where, for instance, if the guy's baby talking his mother, and right. I mean his mother, his, see, see what yes, I said? Right, yeah. right. His, his wife, wife or girlfriend, right. okay. all of a sudden she takes on this mother kind of carer oh. um, persona right. to him. And you wouldn't want to have sex with your mother. Well, we obviously. hope not. Exactly. But, okay, but let's talk about that. When you say research, how did you do your research? How many people did you interview? And was it friends, oh random my God. people? Hundreds. Was there a questionnaire, um, a survey? Friends, form? strangers, family you know it's it's been a lifetime of experience mm -hmm. um, but really when my co-writer came to me it was over 10 years ago mm -hmm. with this um, revelation about oh. pet names right. but um, yeah so we talked to friends family strangers people on Craigslist chat rooms you name everywhere. it everywhere everywhere okay and you came up with these eight points some of them not to do some of them to do the third one is close the bathroom door yeah and isn't that the essence of a relationship though to just be 
comfortable with each other? Well, there's a level though, and that's what that's what I'm trying to say with with our book mm -hmm. is that. Um, we need to rethink how we see intimacy in a long-term relationship. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people think that intimacy is about calling each other honey and sweetie. It is about right. using widow baby names or, <laughs> you know, um, going to the bathroom in front of each other or doing everything you want to do in front of each other or becoming too intertwined in your relationship where there's no separation. It's like, you know, you guys are, you call each other, oh, my other half. Right, no, it right. shouldn't be like that. You need to be two separate, separate individual people. People, and you need to continue working on your life. Why is it when people split up? Okay. Um, you always hear about people, you know, the, the woman going to the gym and she loses all this weight and, right. you know, she starts doing her hair oh, amazingly. Okay. And, and then she gets into another relationship right. and then she loses and then it, herself again. Okay, and I'm laughing because I actually read the book and I, in this third chapter about closing the bathroom door, there's a story of a couple who actually had a contest to see who had the bigger poop yep. like they try to outdo oh, each yeah. other's poop oh you would be amazed what people will tell you in a drunken bar <laughs> <laughs> that's and, and of course that's detrimental to one's sex life right because the sexiness well, and the you know, mystery it's just so, thank you yes the right? sexiness and the mystery is gone once you start seeing your partner on the toilet on a day-to-day -day basis i'm sorry it doesn't do anything for how you you know how you feel about each other sexually okay we're talking about poop um how about <laughs> a, a, another about poop. another chapter it. here that has got nothing to do with that. I suppose talk dirty mm -hmm. and be dirty. I mean, mm -hmm. I understand talk dirty, you know, you do that med, but what do you mean be dirty? Well, I think that, it, you know, and this goes mostly for women. It tends to go mostly for women, but for men too, is that some women are like, oh, you know, I don't want to be seen to be doing that. You know, that's slutty. Oh, you know? Okay, okay. And, okay. but the thing is, is that, you know, you guys are married or you're together. You've made the commitment to one another. What are you afraid of? You know, embrace, right who you are, okay. embrace your sexuality, and yeah, feel free. Do whatever you need to do. Talk dirty. Be be abandoned. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. And read the book because you're going to get a lot of tips, especially if you are in that situation. Where can we get the book? Um, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Barnes & Noble. Um, anywhere website? online. Yes, website, stopcallinghemhoney.com. We have a, um, a blog as well that you can, we've got links from our website. Right. And, so, yeah. And, and that is the website on the screen as well. Thank you so much. This has been very um, entertaining and very Thank informative. You. And Thank congratulations you. on the book. Thank you. We'll be back with more on Couple by in LA. Don't go away.